Hello everyone, my name is Arun. Today we will study about hierarchical system with the help of Oracle software. So first of all, uh, we will open the software, then we will create a new file. Just so as you can see, this is a uh, Oracle data mining software where you can perform data mining related tasks. So uh, the first thing we will create a file so I am creating it with my name so the file is created uh, and we can create a new file so the first thing which we need to do is to attach a database to it so to attach a database we need to open it uh, and it's a by default database which is present in this software which is known as iris so we just need to double click it and just apply to it uh, and to attach a data table to this database we need to create a link from file to data table yeah. so when we double click it we can see uh, the database so which have four different columns sepal length, sepal width, petal length and petal width uh, and the iris are of three types Citosa, uh, Versi color and uh, Virginica so these are the database which we will use to create a hierarchical clustering so the first thing is what is hierarchical clustering hierarchical clustering is a hierarchy of cluster like uh, dividing database to subclass, sub subclass like that. So, uh, and hierarchical clustering is measure. Yeah, no, no. Hierarchical cluster. We can form hierarchical clustering with the help of Euclidean distance. So, like, if there are two clusters, so we will calculate the hierarchical clustering between them with the help of Euclidean distance formula. So, the one thing which we need to do. Uh, is find the distance uh, so the database which we have is attached to the distance uh, and then uh, it is attached to the hierarchy clustering so so when we create uh, so first first of all we created a file then we attach to the uh, we calculate the Euclidean distance formula. Then we attach to the its clustering. So we will get a dendrogram of it like this. So every single plus uh, every single point, every single cluster, iris, whether it is Setosa, Virginica, or Versi color, uh, are like shown in the form of dendrogram. So like every single cluster is right here. So to view in uh, in to view this in uh, again in a good way, we can do this by creating a uh, by creating a scatter plot. So the file, the database is attached to the scatter plot. So like our database, which is presented in two forms length uh, or width uh, every single cluster is represented to according to sepal width sepal length and these three different colors assigned to them setosa for blue versi color for red and virginica for green uh, and there are different types of projection in which we can see like petal length that's of petal length width petal width sepal width petal width sepal length selected so consider let's take petal length and petal width for this video so we got this this in form is in this form uh, so when we attach hierarchical clustering to this scatter plot we will see something like this It's a graphical way of representing of our dendrogram uh, and scatter plot. So, considering any, so suppose if we take Setosa, so like uh, the node, 
so it also has blue color the node which we are clicking are in dark blue color you can see blue color so and if you take any other Sedosa any answer Virginica so if it like all these are cluster are available here which be which are present in the tentogram so if we take the wool so the complete wool will be taken as a cluster this is one cluster this is one cluster and this is one, one cluster so like this the hierarchy will hierarchy is formed between these three databases okay. thank you very much for seeing this